Greetings. So, um, when I was uh, doing the previous video, I thought I'll show, um, demonstrate rather, um, how adaptive uh, adaptive charging, adaptive fast charging works. Um, so, I've got a adaptive charger here, and I've got a phone that supports. Uh, I think they call it. Uh, I think Qualcomm Fast Charge 2.0. 3.0 or whatever that is, but anyways, so I'll I will connect this. Oh, I haven't thought that through entirely. Anyways, there we go. So this is the normal charger. So I'm I've just got it on an extension lead, uh, so it's uh, simpler to uh, show on camera. Anyways, I'll plug in this USB meter and it's 5.26 volts it's a little bit on the high side but um, still within spec so I'll plug this in and let's see what happens so it will start charging uh, the voltage shows at 5.19 dropped a little bit and it's doing one and a half amps so that's half decent. Um, that's roughly about seven and a half watts um, of power that it's taking in. Um, so it will take an X amount of time to to charge the um, charge the battery to full. So that's uh, 5.2 volts at one and a half amps. That's normal charger. Uh, that's a good normal charger, but still it's not uh, not the adaptive charging one. So if I unplug this. And this extension lead is connected to the adaptive charger. So let's see when I connect this, see what happens. It's 5 volts at half amp, but it jumped up to 8.4 volts. So that's way over spec of uh, um, over of spec of USB uh, port. But what this does right now will. half an amp at 8.3 volts that's 4 4 watts so not all that much um, I was hoping for this to kick in properly because when when this starts it will start doing oh there we go so now it's uh, 8 volts at 1.4 1.4 amps, so you've got roughly eight and three, about eleven, about eleven, twelve watts um, of power uh, going in versus seven and a half. So that's your know, thirty, forty percent faster. It will may go up a little bit. So what's ha what's what's happening is the phone, provided it supports the fast charging method. Um, it uh, communicates with the charger via the USB cable and it tells the charger yep uh, give me so and so much power and uh, I know how to handle it which is quite a nice feature I mean this this can charge up the phone up to 70% or whatever in uh, less than uh, less than an hour half an hour or something like that I don't know but it's it's quick enough um, sometimes you need just like 20-30% of uh, battery and you can get that in 15 minutes um, and that will keep you going for maybe for the rest of the day so it's a really handy uh, handy feature um, but um, I haven't, have I got anything else around here yeah I've, do, I've got oops so I've got a really old Android phone that doesn't support um, that sort of charging method so if I plug this in, it, the charger drops to 4.95 volts and it's doing the teeny wee charging because it's an old generation phone, it won't charge very fast. Um, but when it's, uh, when it's connected to a device that doesn't support the uh, adaptive charging, um, it won't start blasting it with 8 volts because that will effectively uh, destroy the, the receiving phone so um, clever clever and useful uh, as far as I know there is uh, the 3.0 version as well um, 
which uh, which does even more uh, more current and higher voltage or whatever it does it's uh, it's a lot faster so yeah uh, that's all I guess now it's doing an amp at eight and a half volts so it, it varies uh, and as the phone uh, as the battery uh, gets full um, this will gradually start dropping and it will drop to lower voltage and lower current and and so on so it co keeps communicating with the phone and uh, the phone can request up to one and a half amps so there we go it's just changed to one and uh, 1.4 amps so it it will charge the phone substantially faster than a standard USB port so yeah that's uh, that's what's the difference between uh, adaptive uh, charging and normal USB charging anyways thanks for watching take care